Hi there friends, I'm Lisa Clark and I work for the Candleberry Candle Company. I have decided to take a little time to show you how to repair a candle that might not be burning properly. So you've got this great candle, it's the best candle in the world, and you're finding that you have a lot of wax left up on the sides. You might be burning it too short a period of time, leaving a one inch donut around the outside. For a couple of my candles, I'm gonna intentionally make that happen so you can see what causes it. Then I'm gonna show you how to repair it. So stay tuned. The process of creating a candle problem. Okay, I started this candle out by burning it two times, not all the way to the edges, because what we are trying to do is we're going to try to cause the candle to have that nice thick one inch wax donut around the edges. I've started with a long wick and a nice hot flame so we can try to get there quickly. I'm gonna burn it for about 30 minutes. We are halfway there, we're at the 15 minute mark. There's the 30 minute mark. We're gonna burn it two more times and then we're gonna start repairing it because we will have built up that wax donut around the edges that I was telling you about earlier. After that second burn, we now have the donut around the edges. We have a carbon ball on the end of the wick, but we need the wick to be as long as possible and the flame to be hot. So we're gonna knock that off. And here in just a minute, I'm gonna take a uh, butter knife and pull the donut wax down into the candle. And one of the reasons I want the wick as long as possible is because when I push that wax down into the candle, it's gonna cause the pool of wax to raise up on the wick. And I wanna see how much of the wick I'm losing as I'm pushing that wax down in it. Watching my flame carefully so that I don't lose it all together. I've raised the pool of wax by lowering the sides and now my flame looks about average for burning. Four to five hours later, the candle's back to looking beautiful. It's nice and level. And from this point forward, I'm going to make sure to burn it at least four hours to get it out to the edge. And if I happen not to be able to do that on one burn, then I'll just be sure to make sure it gets all the way out to here on the following burn. Creating an even bigger problem with Candleberry's Kentucky Bourbon Candle. With this candle, I'm going to have to make the problem that is already there even worse before I can begin to repair it because the wick is too short. So I'm going to have to burn through it about three or four times to burn through enough wax so that that wick will be long enough that I can push the edges down into the pool. As you're going through the process that I'm showing you, you need to notice your wick. If it starts to get short like this, that means that your wick is clogged and that's what this donut around the edges causes. Another thing that causes that to happen is too much burn time. When you are burning a candle that you're not trying to repair, if you see that your wax pool is starting to get smaller, like you're losing ground on the burn or you start to see a white ash, then you've overloaded the wick and you need to blow the candle out and give it a rest. Blow it out, let it cool completely, trim the tip just a hair, and then restart it and you should be back to normal performance. Now, although I have already pushed this wax in, my wick is getting pretty short, so I had to make some slits in the side to try to make my wax travel like a little river down into the nooks and crannies in the edges. That's another one of my secret little cheats so that we can avoid losing wax. Although you could dig part of that out with a spoon so that your wax pool can drop and your wick would be longer, we're going to attempt to avoid that. Because I'm gonna manipulate this with my bare hand, I've blown the candle out for safety's sake and I want to get that wax down into those excess nooks and crannies. As for that white ash, that is a clog. Um, like I'd mentioned before, too much wax, too much fragrance, too much color that we are forcing through the wick, and it's just like a pipe clog. Get rid of it. Just clip off the tip, only the ash, if you can avoid getting into the black because you don't want to lose good wick. And never trim that ash in a melted candle. Always allow your candle to cool 100% before you trim the ash. You just have more control over a wick that has hardened wax on it, and you need that control to keep your wick as long as possible. Now our struggle is going to be pushing all of this wax down into the pool, but continuing to avoid creating an additional white ash that we have to deal with. 
The more wax you're pushing into the pool from the sides, the more you're forcing through that wick that it is not meant to handle. That's why your problem begins to multiply from the first time you don't burn it all the way to the edges. And then you have trouble through to the end of the burn. And we are back to having a white ash. And that's a good thing at this point because I want to show you my second repair on that. The first time we did the repair, all we did was trim the white ash off. But this time we're going to do a little something more that I said we were going to try to avoid because I am ready to get this fixed. If I didn't trim this tiny little piece out of here, then I would have trimmed my white ash and ended up with a wick way too short and I would have had to start this entire process over again. It's not enough to worry about. It's going to drop my wax pool so that my wick will be long enough that when I trim it, it's going to be right about where I want it to be to start burning it to get it back down to level and repaired. So I burned it through my process for four hours and I already went through the process also of pushing the edges down again. You've already seen me do that. I'm not going to make you watch it again, but you can see we're getting closer and closer to being flattened back down to where we should be. This is on through to the next burn. You can see we're getting close. And this is the final burn. We are completely repaired. The wick looks great. It doesn't have any kind of white ash on it. And we are ready to start burning from this point forward four hours at a time. And there you have a complicated repair. So the bottom line is even though it seems as though all is lost when you start getting that white ash on the tip of it and when you start getting those donuts around the edges, it is not lost. It's actually still a good candle. You just have to repair the mistakes you've made.